The carving of sculpture fascinates me every single time um, because each piece of stone is unique in its character. Every piece of marble is different. There's such a variety of colours and veins uh, that you know, I'm never going to work in you know, the same piece of marble twice. It, it's a privilege to be the one to kind of reveal that uh, through a piece of sculpture. I approach uh, every sculpture with the same sort of excitement and enthusiasm that I, you know, that I did when I first started carving. It's the most formidable material that one would choose to make art work from. It takes a lot of patience. I mean, it's not something that can take place overnight. Watching that transition take place over many days is absolutely fascinating. The, the idea that there, that there could be something a beautiful trapped in this, in this block, I find that kind of mind-blowing. Because I, I have quite an isolated practice here in my studio, I find it incredibly nourishing to go out into the city. Edinburgh is a really beautiful city. Uh, there's so many varieties of architecture here, so many styles and, um, and periods of architecture, all sort of piled on top of each other. And there's so much carved stone here that I find it um, you know, incredibly inspiring just to, to walk around and look up. There's always a little architectural detail, a little piece of carved stone that will have escaped my attention. When you come down to that last sort of two or three millimetres, that's where the sculpture really sort of starts to take on a, a personality of its own. That's when you, know, you start to really uh, find that kind of final form and that's where the, the piece really starts to breathe, I suppose, and starts to come to life. You know, ARC have made very specific design choices, and I wanted to honour those um, as closely as I could. It's great meeting people who are as passionate about what they do as I am about what I do.